<coughs> All right, and hello everyone. It is me, Jay Burns, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this design right here on the Alpha Loom. So this design here is my horizontal pretzel picture. So it's a picture design, and I'm going to be showing you how to make it on the Alpha Loom. So anyway. To make this design, you will, of course, need an alpha loom. You will also need your alpha comb, or you can just use a regular old hook. But if you do choose to use your alpha comb, you will also need a regular hook. You will not need clips for this design, because I'll be showing you how to make it into a picture, and I'll be showing you how to close this uh, picture off without using clips. Alright, you'll also need a template, and I have this one right here, and there's all these weird X's, and I'll explain what they are in a moment, but you will need a template, but if you do not want to, oh wait, the website where you can get this template, where you can download it and then print it, will be linked down in the description, but if you do not, or if you can't actually get the template, then I will be showing you this one throughout the tutorial, and if you do get a template, you will want to have a pencil as well and yeah not only will you need those things there but you will also need of course rubber bands there are four groups I'll explain what they each are this first group the A rubber bands they are going to be the actual pretzel so they're going to be the brown rubber bands here on this example the B rubber bands are going to be the background rubber bands and they are all these orange squares in the example. Then the C rubber bands, these are the connector bands here and you can't see them in the example but they are the rubber bands that hold the seven rows of chains that you're making here on your alpha loom together creating the picture. And then this fourth group here these rubber bands are actually optional and they are the rubber bands that act like salt on a pretzel. So that is what all these X's here on this template are. Those are all the rubber bands that will, or those are all the places where I'll have like a salt rubber band. And if you would like to have these optional and additional rubber bands, then use the pause button and go ahead and copy this if you have your template. So like put little X's with a pen or a pencil, and yeah. Alright, but if you do not want to have these additional little salt rubber bands, then you do not have to add them, and you'll just ignore that part of the tutorial. Alright, so, to figure out how many bands you'll need, just go down to the description. It will tell you exactly how many bands you'll need, also including these here. And yeah, just use the pause button so you can get the stuff you need. Now we're going to go ahead and get started. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and adjust my camera real quick. Alright, so, to begin making the picture design, you're going to want to have your alpha loom so that the rainbow loom words, which you can actually feel them if you rub your finger over them, like I am, you're going to want to have the rainbow loom words facing towards you, it's the same side as this little hole here, and yeah, you're also going to want to get a connector band to start. So. To begin, it's really easy. Starting off the picture is really easy. Just take the connector band and stretch it going all the way down one side of the alpha loom and on all seven pins, like that. Now, what you're going to want to do is get your template out. And we're going to start placing the upper bands we need for that. Alright, so we're going to start here with column one and columns are vertical here on the template and the columns are all the numbers here on top and 
Also, before we begin, make sure you have the rainbow loom words facing towards you. And when that's true, this row here, row one, which the rows are here on the side, row one are or is these two pins furthest away from you, and row seven are or is these two pins closest to you. So row one, row seven. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and get start, let's start at placing rubber bands we need. And for column 1, so column 1 going down, you need just 7 A or, yeah, gosh, I can't talk today, 7 B color rubber bands. Alright, and what you're going to do to place these is you're just going to take one and stretch and place it on one pin and stretch it over to the other side directly across like so. You're not going to twist the rubber band, you're just going to place it regularly. Then you'll get another rubber band and do the same thing for the next two pins. And then you'll get another rubber band and do the same thing for the next two pins. And you'll do this for all seven sets of pins. And also just to let you all know, I am using two rubber bands instead of one. And I am also using regular rubber bands because they, or there aren't any brown alpha loom bands as of today when I record. Alright, so once you have placed all seven of the B color rubber bands you need for column one, you're now going to get either your hook or your alpha comb, depending on what you're using to loom, and you're just going to grab that connector band down there on the bottom and pull it up and over the pins. And then it's sitting here on these rubber bands you just placed. And once that's true, you can just use the other side of your alpha comb, if you're using it, to push all these bands down. Alright. Now once you've loomed that connector band, if you have your template, you're going to want to get your pencil out, and also your template of course and you're just going to want to lightly mark off column 1. What that means is we have placed the rubber bands we need for column 1 and we're just going to move on to the next column which is column 2. And column 2 is the exact same as the first one. You just need a connector band and you will need seven B color rubber bands once again. So this is something you're going to do for the rest of this picture. Before you place any other rubber bands, you need to place the connector band first. And also make sure the rainbow loom words are facing towards you. So the connector band just goes all the way down one side of the alpha loom, all seven pins. Alright. Then, once you've placed your connector band, you can place all the other rubber bands you need for the design. And it's just all B color rubber bands, so yeah. You just place the rubber bands regularly. You don't twist them or anything. Alright, so for column two, you just need all B color rubber bands, and once you've placed the rubber bands you need for this second column, it's now time to loom. And looming is very simple, it's going to be the same every time you, well every time, except if you're going to have the little salt rubber bands, but it's still going to be the same technically, and I'll explain that once we get there, but anyway. It's always the same every time, and I'm only going to be showing you twice how to loom, and then next, after the third time, when it's time to loom, I'll just say, okay, go ahead and loom, and you're just going to go ahead and loom. So, to loom this design, you first grab the connector band with your hook, or your alpha comb, and pull it up and over the pins, 
and onto these bands above it. Then, you're just going to loom all the bottom rubber bands on both sides of the loom. Right, and once you've done that, if you're using your alpha comb, you can use the other side of it to push down all the bands. And then make sure you have the rainbow loom where it's facing back towards you again. And if you have your template with you, you're going to get your pencil and lightly mark off column two. Now we need to place the rubber bands we need for column three. And for column three, you're going to need a connector band. You're always going to need a connector band when it's time to place more rubber bands. You're going to need four A color rubber bands, which are your pretzel bands, three B color rubber bands, and if you're going to have little salts on your pretzel, you will need one rubber band for that. All right. So before you place any other rubber bands, you need you're going to need to place your connector band first, all the way down one side of the alpha loom. Then, if you're going to have the optional salt rubber bands on your alpha loom, you're going to want to get that rubber band and place that next. And what you do is you figure out which row it's in, so where the X is, this X is in row 3. And row one's up here, so one, two, three. So here's where we're going to place our salt rubber band. Alright. And to place the salt rubber band, you're going to need to make it into a triple cat band. And one way I like to do this is put the rubber band on the pin you need it to be on. Twist the rubber band. And then this new shape you create that's not on the loom, you're going to put that on. Then you're going to grab one of these two little layers and twist it. And the new shape you create that's not on your loom, you're going to go ahead and put it on the loom. There you go. Now you should have these three little layers and that is a triple cap band. Alright, once you've placed any salt rubber bands or connector rubber bands that you need, you can go ahead and place the rubber bands you need for the actual design. And from row 1 down to row 7, here is the order of the rubber bands. Up here at row 1, we have our first B color rubber band. Next, going down, we have all four of our A color rubber bands. Just going down. Try not to block the template with my hand. And then after those four A color rubber bands, it's just these last two B color bands. Alright, so here's what I have on my alpha loom. And here is the template. Use the pause button if you need to look at that any longer. But yeah, now what we're going to do is we're going to loom. So this is the second time I'm going to show you how to loom. And yeah, from after this point, whenever it's time to loom, just go ahead and I'll just say go ahead and loom and that's what we'll do. All right. So what we're going to do, it's the same every time. And I'll explain this salt rubber band in a moment. But what you're going to do is you're going to get your alpha comb or your hook. You're going to loom this connector band first. Pull it up and over the pins. Then, after that, you just grab all the bottom rubber bands, and if you have the salt rubber band, just ignore it right now. But first, you're going to go ahead and loom all the bottom rubber bands on both sides of the alpha loom. And once you've loomed them, you can push the bands down, 
But if you have the salt rubber band, what you're going to want to do is get your hook and you're going to grab that rubber band, that salt rubber band, and loom it up and over the pins onto the band above it. And make sure you keep it out to the side, like it's not in between these other rubber bands that you loomed, like with the connector band, like make sure it's off to the side like that. Alright, and once you have loomed everything, you can use the other side of your alpha comb, if you're using it, to push all the bands down. And now you have loomed your uh, rubber bands. Right, couldn't think there for a second. Alright, anyway. Then once you've finished looming and pushing the bands down, make sure the rainbow loom words are facing towards you again. And if you have your template with you, go ahead and lightly mark off column 3 with the pencil. Now we are on column 4. And for column 4, you're going to need 2 A color rubber bands, 5 B color rubber bands, and don't forget the connector band, of course. And if you're going to be adding these, you're going to need a salt rubber band. All right. So before we place anything else, we're going to place this connector band first. Oops. It's the same every time when you place this. Then, if you have a salt rubber band, or if you're going to be adding those, you're going to go ahead and get that. And this time it's in row 6, and row 6 is down here, because this is row 7. Row 1, down to row 7, here's row 6. So you're going to go ahead and get your salt rubber band and place that by making it a triple cap band on that pin. There you go. And then once you've placed those rubber bands, you can go ahead and place the other rubber bands that you need. And from row 1 down to row 7. Here is the order of the rubber bands. So at the very top we have an A color rubber band. Next we have four of our B color rubber bands going down. And then we have our last A color rubber band. And then we have our last B color rubber band. And there we go. Right, so here is the template. And here is what I have on my alpha loom. Use the pause button if you need to look at that any longer. But now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and loom. So I'm not going to explain how you loom again, except for if you have a salt rubber band, make sure you loom that last. So that make sure that's the last thing that you loom. Just a little reminder. But yeah, just go ahead and loom. Same every time. Connect band. Bottom bands. And then, yes. Ooh, rubber band just broke. That's not good. I'm going to go ahead and try to fix that.
All right, there we go. Let's saw rubber band last. And once you've loomed everything, make sure to push all the bands down. Make sure the rainbow loom words are facing towards you again. And if you have a template with you, you're going to go ahead and mark off column four. Now we need to place the rubber bands we need for column five. All right, so we're getting to halfway through. So for column five, you're going to need a connector band, of course. You're going to need three A color rubber bands and four, oops, and four B color rubber bands. And then if you're going to be adding these, you'll also need a salt rubber band only if you're going to be adding them to the picture. All right. So, now what we're going to go ahead and do is add them. So, to place the rubber bands, first you place your connector band. Everything needs to scoot over. And then if you're going to be adding the salt rubber band, this time it's in row one, which is all the way up here, furthest away from you. So for your salt rubber band, you just put it on the pin you need it to be and make it a triple cap band. And then once you've placed those things, you can go ahead and place all the other rubber bands you need and from row one going all the way down to row seven here is the order of the rubber bands so first at the very top we have this A color rubber band next we have three of our B color rubber bands And after that, we have another A color rubber band. Then after that, we have our last B color rubber band. And then down here at the very bottom, we have our last A color rubber band. All right. So anyway, now what we're going to go ahead and do is loom, but for that, Use the pause button if you need to look at the template and my alpha loom any longer. Alright, what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to loom. It's the same as always. And yeah, just go ahead and do it. Oh, and also just as a tip, if you're using your alpha comb, if you don't grab all the rubber bands at one time, you can always go back and get the rubber bands you missed. It's better to accidentally leave a rubber band and then go back and loom it than to accidentally pull a rubber band off of your loom and lose your whole creation. Alright. And then, gotta get that salt rubber band last. And once you've loomed everything, you can use the other side of your alpha comb to push all the bands down. Make sure the rainbow loom words are facing towards you again. And if you have your template with you, go ahead and lightly mark off column 5. Alright, so now we're about halfway through the design. We're now on column 6. And for column 6, you're going to need... Goodness a connector band. Wow, this is so organized. You're going to need a connector band, of course. You're going to need four A color rubber bands and three B color rubber bands. Then if you're going to be having or adding these, you'll need a salt rubber band. All right. So as always, you're first going to place your connector band. Then if you're going to be adding these, you'll take your salt rubber band, and this time it's in row four. So one, two, three, four. It's this very, it's these two very center pins. 
just gonna go ahead and make your triple cap band on there all right and then once you add that you're gonna go ahead and place the rubber bands you need for the actual design So from row 1 down to row 7, here's the order of the rubber bands. At the very top we have a B color rubber band. Next we have three of our A color rubber bands going down. Then after that we have our last two B color rubber bands. And then at the very bottom we have our last A color rubber band. Alright, so here's my alpha loom and here is the template. If you need to look at that for any longer, use the pause button. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and loom again. So just go ahead and loom all the rubber bands here. And then don't forget that salt rubber band down there. Push all these bands down. Alright, so don't forget to push the rubber bands down and have the rainbow loom words facing towards you once again. And if you have your template, go ahead and mark off column 6. Alright, now we are on column 7. And for this column, you're going to need three A color rubber bands, four B color rubber bands, and I need to get more of these, a connector band, of course, and if you're going to be adding them, you're going to need a salt rubber band for this column. to get more beet color rubber bands. But anyway, to place these rubber bands you're going to go ahead and get your connector band first. Place it. It's the same every time. Then if you have, or if you're going to be adding, oh wait you can't even see the template. <laughs> if you're going to be adding the salt rubber band, this for this column it is in column we're in row 7. Oh, okay. And that's down here at the very bottom. So, to place the salt rubber band, you just find the pin it needs to be on. And then make it a triple cap band. And I forgot to say this before, but whenever you're placing your salt rubber bands, make sure that you place them on the same side of the alpha loom every time, or you're going to have some of your rubber bands on one side of the picture and then some of your salt rubber bands are going to be on the other side but there is a way to fix that and I will have a separate video if you accidentally uh, did that but anyway once you've placed the salt rubber band and the connector band you're going to go ahead and place the rubber bands you need for the actual design and from row 1 down to row 7 here is the order of the bands at the very top we have our A color rubber band. Next we have three of our B color rubber bands. Going down. Then next you have another A color rubber band. 
Then after that you have your last B color upper band. And then after that you have your last A color upper band down here at the very bottom. All right, so here's my alpha loom and here's what I have, or yeah, here's what I have on my alpha loom and here's the template. Use the pause button if you need to look at that any longer. But now what we're going to go ahead and do is loom. So just go ahead and do that process. Don't forget to push down the bands and make sure your rainbow loom boards are facing towards you again. The pretzel's coming out really nice. Alright, then don't forget to mark off column 7 with your pencil if you have your template with you. And now we're on column 8. And for column 8 you're going to need a connector band, of course. You're going to need two a color rubber bands and five B color rubber bands. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Ugh, my nose is going crazy. Alright, anyway. And if you're going to be adding them, you'll also need a salt rubber band. Okay, I'm gonna sneeze. Hold on. <coughs> Ugh. Alright, sorry about that. That was driving my nose crazy. Anyway, so you'll need two A color rubber bands, five B color rubber bands if you're going to be adding it, a salt rubber band, and a connector band. Alright, so to place rubber bands, you're first going to place your connector band. Then, if you're going to be adding it, you're going to place your salt rubber band. And in this column, it's in row 1. And row 1's all the way up here. So to place it, you're going to make it a triple cap band. Then once you've placed those rubber bands there, you're going to go ahead and place the bands you need for the actual design. So, from row 1 down to row 7, oh, what was that? <laughs> Here is the order of the rubber bands. So at the very top we have an A color rubber band. Then next you have four of your B color rubber bands. on. <laughs> then next you have your last A color rubber band. And then down here in row 7, we have our last B color per band. Alright, once you have, or well actually, here is my alpha loom and here is the template. Use the pause button if you need to look at that any longer. Goodness. And yeah, now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to loom. So go ahead and do that.
Okay, push down your bands. Make sure the rainbow loom words are facing towards you. And mark off column 8 if you have your template with you. Alright, now we are on column 9. And for column 9, we're going to need a connector band. We're going to need three B color rubber bands and four A color rubber bands. And if you're going to be adding them, you're going to need your last two salt rubber bands. And also, these four A color rubber bands that we're adding are the last four we need for the design. Goodness, my nose. Alright. So, to place the rubber bands you need for column 9. Eh, push all these bands on the side. Ooh, and another rubber band broke. Great. Okay, anyway. <laughs> to place the rubber bands you need for column 9, get a connector band and stretch it going on one side of the alpha loom. Then if you have, if you're adding the salt rubber bands, in this column they are in, or one of them is on row 3, and the other is in row 5. So, you're adding two this time crazy. Make them triple cap bands on the pins that they need to be on. And then you can go ahead and place the rubber bands you need for the actual design. And from row 1 down to row 7, here's the order of the bands. At the very top, we have a B color rubber band. Next, we have our four A color rubber bands. The last four that will be in this design. Next, we have our last two B color rubber bands. <laughs> Alright, now what we're going to go ahead and do is once you've placed those rubber bands, is you're going to go ahead and loom. And I'm going to replace that broken rubber band down there. Don't forget to loom those salt rubber bands, and remember you have two of them now. Ooh, 
and don't forget that there. All right, don't forget to push down the bands. Rainbow Loom Arts facing towards you. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly try to finish this tutorial up. Go ahead and mark off column nine if you have your template with you. And now what we're going to do is move on to column ten. So the last two columns of or the last bands are going to be adding in this design. The next two columns are the exact same as the first two. And they're both all B color rubber bands. So for column ten you're going to need a connector band and seven B color upper bands. And you're just going to place your connector band first. And then from row one down to row seven, it's just all B color upper bands. So there's not really much explaining for that. I'm going to go ahead and try to quickly do this. I see a nearly broken rubber band already. So many of these mango rubber bands. Apologize for all these broken rubber bands in this tutorial. this little scene right here. Anyway, once you've placed all those B color rubber bands, you're going to go ahead and loom. Use the pause button if you need to finish. But just go ahead and loom just like normal. Yep, that rubber band just broke. So glad I spotted it. Alright, there you go. Once you've finished lubing, push the bands down. Make sure the rainbow loom words are facing towards you again. And mark off column 10 on your template. Now we're going to go ahead and place the last row of rubber bands that we need. And now you should be getting another connector band and seven B color rubber bands once again and yeah it's the exact same as the column we just placed rubber bands for first it's the connector band next you place all seven of your B color rubber bands You just place them all regularly. Alright, so here's my alpha loom, and here is the template. Use the pause button if you need to. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is loom again. So, just loom your connector band, all those bottom bands. And then once you've loomed everything, push everything down. 
this pretzel looks really nice. Alright, anyway, once you have loomed and you've done all that, now it is time to finish the design picture off. So to finish it off, you will not need clips. I'll be showing you what you can do to finish the design finish off the design without clips. And you can go ahead and erase all those marks that you made on your template so you can use the template again. And yeah. So, now I'm going to show you how you finish the picture off. And to finish it off, you're going to need the remaining B color rubber bands that you have. And I got extras just in case because these rubber bands seem to be breaking a lot on me. And then you're also going to need your last couple, or also your last uh, connector bands. Alright, you're also going to need your regular old hook. So if you're using an alpha comb, go ahead and put that away. You're going to need your regular hook now. Goodness. Alright, so what we're going to do is first, we're going to start down here. It doesn't really matter what pin you start on, but you're just going to grab one side of a rubber band on one pin with your hook pull it off of that pin and bring it over to the other side of the alpha loom so bring it over to the pin directly across from it then you'll do the same thing for the next pin grab the rubber band on one side of the alpha loom and then bring it over to the other And you'll do this for all seven pins. Alright, so... Also, make sure you brought all of the rubber bands to the same side of the alpha loom. So only one side of your alpha loom should have bands on it right now. And what we're going to do now is we're going to start with these B color rubber bands. We're going to take our hook and a B color rubber band. We're going to stick our hook down in this very first pin here. So on one side of the alpha loom. Stick your hook going down through all the bands on that pin. Get another rubber band and put it on your hook, like so. And then pull your hook going up through the rubber bands on that pin, and then put the other, or wait, no. And then before you put the other end of this new band onto your hook, you're going to slide your hook going down through the next pin with all those bands on it as well. And then you're going to put the other end of the new rubber band onto your hook. Sorry about my nose. Alright, anyway. You're going to get another rubber band now. Put it on your hook the same way you did with that first one. Then pull your hook going up through all those rubber bands. So it's like this now. Then you're going to go into the next pin. The same way. All those bands on your hook now. And then you're going to put the other end of this new rubber band onto your hook. And you're going to do this going all the way through the alpha loom. Once you get to this last pin, stop, and then I'll explain what you need to do there. So I'm going to try to hurry through this. Just try to be quick. I hope none of these rubber bands break. That would stink. Alright, so I just went really quick through that. Use the pause button if you need to. But now what you're going to need to do is get two more rubber bands. I'm going to be using connector bands. But what you're going to do with these is you're going to put them both on your hook. Like so. Come on. And pull them. Oh my goodness. Pull them both up through all the bands. No, oh, what is going on? Huh. 
Okay, right. Sorry, the battery's about to die on my camera, so I'm trying to go really fast. Anyway, you're going to go ahead, once you've pulled them up through, put the other end of the new bands onto your hook, like so. And you're going to make a slip knot with these rubber bands here on your hook. So this end of these two rubber bands that is furthest away from the actual part of your hook, so this side here, you're going to grab that and pull it off of your hook without pulling the other side with it. Like that. And once you've done that, you can tighten the slip knot and start to pull the design off of your alpha loom. And don't be like me. Just be really careful when you do this. Continue tightening the slip knot, and you can cut this off, of course. Just make sure you make it tight enough. And bam! Now you have your pretzel picture. So as you can see here, I have mine, and hopefully you have yours, and now it's time for the outro. So I would like to thank you for watching my tutorial. Hopefully it showed you how to make this pretzel picture successfully, and hopefully now you have it and you're enjoying it. And yeah. If you liked this design, you might also like to make a bracelet version of this, where instead of it's like horizontal, it's like vertical, and the pretzels are a little bit skinnier. A link to that tutorial will be in the description. And yeah. So sorry about all the distractions in this tutorial. I haven't been in a very good, it hasn't been very good days to record for me lately. And yeah, just so much stuff has been happening. But. Yeah, I do apologize for all those distractions, if there were any that were a little bit distracting. And, yeah, so hopefully you have your pretzel picture now. Hopefully you're enjoying it. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this tutorial, other than thanks for watching, and bye!